All right, today we're going to learn how to play the horn. So first, you're going to make sure that you're grabbing your instrument out of the case when the case is on the floor. So put your case on the floor, open it up, take your horn out, stick your mouthpiece right in here. So after you've done that, the way you're going to hold it is your left hand um, is going to go right here. You're going to put your thumb right on this ring, and you're going to put your left um, pinky right on this ring, and then your fingers will go right on the valves like this, and then um, the point is for your left hand to be completely resting while your right hand is doing all the work for holding the instrument. So your right hand is going to go into the bell and you don't want to stick it in too far or else that can make your intonation super bad. Um, but if you don't put it in far enough, it'll also make your intonation super bad. So you want to make sure that you put it in just the right amount, right about here. And then you want this side, um, like edge of your hand, um, to be right around at the top and you want your hand, the back of your hand to be resting um, kind of up against the this part, this side of the bell, the side that is away from you. So once I got that, again, um, you want to make sure that your right hand is basically doing all of the work in regards to holding the instrument up so that your left hand is completely free uh, to play on the valves. So once you've got that, you want to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Um, you want to make sure you're nice and comfortable, comfortable enough for you to play. Um, so I'm going to hold my instrument up to my face like this. Um, I can't rest the bell on my leg or else the mouthpiece isn't anywhere close to my face. So I'm going to lift my bell off of, off of my leg and hold it up just like that to where it's a comfortable position for me. Um, so making a sound. First, you want to practice blowing your air through a straw. It's um, really beneficial because it helps you learn how to focus all of your air into this very tiny little hole. Right here, this tiny little hole. You want to blow a whole lot of air um, through a very small focused space. So when you're blowing through the straw, that helps you focus on blowing all of your air, again, through a very small space, and it also forms your lips um, to the way that they're supposed to be. That is how your embouchure is formed um, when you're playing on the mouthpiece and on your instrument. So then for breathing and articulations, you want to make sure you're getting a nice big breath, breathing on the beat before you come in, and then when you're practicing your articulations, you want to make sure that you are breathing air, you are pushing air through the articulations. So for the articulations, you can either say do or to. Um, in this case, I usually just say to. Um, and then when you're practicing your articulations, you want to make sure that you are breathing, you are pushing the air all the way through. So instead of um, tw, 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 it needs to be a consistent tw, tw, tw. So um, when it sounds on the mouthpiece like this, instead of so then when you put it in your horn you want again make sure that all of your air is nice and steady nice and constant going through all the way through 